this is so futuristic and cool. So hello guys, welcome to my channel Vivo Love Step. My name is Viva. Boxing right away there's the patch step. Flexible. I will actually remove the screen product of STP. Then this is the how to use the charger. This is the charger pink color. Supports 10 watt charging. And this is the box. I'm gonna show you what all is there in the next part. Nothing else. So I'm opening the box with the SIM card. So I opened it. Uh, it's a Samsung Evo 128GB SD card, uh, micro SD card. Then you get badges. Ba badges is different to each person. For me, I got brought by Jude. And there's a sticker booklet which everyone gets the same. And nothing else. This is a 1080p 60 hertz panel. So, I just talk about the so as I told you about the display. So the display is actually anti glare as you can see. There is no reflection of light, so it's an anti glare display. So as you guys can see, the the colors of the blues, greens, and the rocks. As you can see, the color has been reduced drastically. Uh, as I see the screen, I, st I watched for, with it for one hour. I felt that the colors weren't good because it's meant for only Baiju's use, not for this use. So, more about the display. So, most of the display is taken by the speaker, no camera bumps. So, another 20% uh, uh, of it is taken by the uh, black screen. Let us talk about the build quality, look and feel of this Baiju's tablet. So here is the speaker grill as you guys can see. And here there is some smooth rubberish te uh, texture. It's kind of laminated type of. And here as you can see on the side it's full plastic and half it's, it's just rubber. Smooth rubber. Behind also it's plastic. And here it's rubber. And here also it's plastic. This is an extension maybe for the battery or something else. I don't know. So the build quality is pretty bad because if you drop it once, the screen could da da damage or the uh, internal parts can get damaged because it's kind of hollow and the plastic quality is not pretty good. Let us talk about the ports and buttons. So this is the power on button. This is the normal pin charger. And now this is the volume up and down button. And here is the headphone jack, so you get rarely these days, and a SIM tray. Let us talk about the SIM tray. So here you can keep one SIM, and here is an external storage, which can uh, it can support up to one terabyte external storage. Let us talk about the specifications of the Baidu's tablet. So nothing much is known. Everything is hidden from Baidu's. It's powered by Android, and it has a uh, 32 GB internet storage, which half of it is used for Baiju's apps and programs. So I get uh, so you, with the package you also get uh, two uh, SD cards. One is SanDisk SD card and Samsung 128 GB SD card. Half of them, both half of them, is used for Baiju's apps and programs. Let's talk about the software experience of the Baiju's tablet. 
so as you can see let us talk about the bios uh, software experience so the software experience is good as you can see it's uh, smooth and animations are also good and i click on a random topic click on it as you can see the animation the arrow moving everything is good so the baiju's ui is pretty good i liked it now let us go to the multifunction i click here there are only two bloaters zoom and oxford dictionary i uninstalled to do list all the apps are good and even i click on this i can shift from apps i can click from here to here so i can shift seamlessly between apps and here are the three if i click on this i'll come back to where i was if i click on this there's a feature and if i click on this i can go to the android ui so now let us talk about multitasking so i can't do pretty much anything because i can't do split uh, two tabs and uh, use them simultaneously i have to do them one each one at a time so overall the ui is good so if the, uh, if i'm playing a video when i do like and i uh, pull up this there will be showing that the video is being played so overall the ui is pretty good i liked it so let us talk about the performance we don't know if it's media tech processor or snapdragon or any other because by just as it i asked them i try call them and ask them they said we can't disclose it so i don't know not, i don't know about the performance but i tried multitasking and playing games it can handle asphalt 9 medium so asphalt 9 is a easy game so if in medium graphics it has some frame drops so it's not made for games but you can uh, play casual gaming but it won't be a good experience but overall the performance is good for using uh, attending classes using the programs which i'm going to show you so normally the ui is good you you can't do screen share or only thing you can do is hotspot nearby share data saver uh, and all these basic features when i click on all settings or uh, as you can see uh, privacy i can so uh, one app has full access to your device so byju's has full access so it doesn't show the processor everything and i can change wifi so it's pretty basic but not as basic for uh, small children to use it i can go on the screen lock and uh, all these things i can change so everything is pretty basic not so complicated let us talk more about the byju ui because there's nothing much in the android ui so i click on live classes i can see the classes which are which i have to attend and i can see the classes which are completed they 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 give you these files and there's homeworks also and there's learn concepts when you click on that there will be a topic example i chose physics i want to learn playing with force when i click on this it'll show an error clock then a video will be there So when I click on start, there's a video. I can't show the video because I'll be there'll be copyright all those things. So there'll be like uh, there'll be stories, all those things. After uh, so there'll be uh, so as you saw, there'll be like stories. After the sto uh, they'll show you stories. after stories they will uh, uh, give you some tests and after test they'll check our understanding but i can't show much because i'll be i should with a copyright strike so i can't and let us talk about something else so if i want to ask a doubt i can click on this and it will go go to uh, chrome tab and i can ask the uh, whichever teacher i want So when I click on learn practically, there's this thing, simulations and drawings. In simulations, it'll show the, like example, I click on this. Next, it'll show simulations. Like it'll ask me some questions.
After asking a series of uh, questions, it will show me the 3D diagram. See, I can zoom into it. I can zoom out of it. It's 3D and I can increase the weight to see how the muscle expands. So now I can zoom in and see the structure of the muscle, how the muscle is pulling it. Now animal. So it will show the how will show the muscular so so as you saw the simulations was really good i liked it there's so much i have to blur here Oof. so after exiting the simulation So after exiting the simulation, I can go to diagrams. In this, as I was talking about diagrams, if I want to draw a vacuole, I click on it. Then I click on next. It will ask me if I'm uh, my pen and uh, the book is ready to write. Then I click on this. It opens up. It shows the diagram of the uh, vacuole. So now I can just draw draw it like. So as you saw, you can practice diagrams, which is really good. I liked it. I want to uh, play quiz. Click on quiz, and I I think I take a subject physics. Then I click on play. Continue. Let's choose a random friend. Sorry guys, I have to blur it. choose a random opponent then I have to uh, play a quiz with the uh, random player so uh, uh, there are like set of six questions each will be asked so after asking question, after five questions in the sixth question there will be a bonus round So in the question sign it's a bonus round, you'll get more points. So uh, after every test you get a badges. So when I click on next, it'll, it'll move me. So there are ranks like a uh, scholar, then pro, like that. So I won 99 points. After that I get for the I get points. So like that, if you play quiz, you get points. Then let's talk about the other. So there's Osmos games. In there, what you can do is you can play physics games or I can draw something. So for example, I'm going to take my book, take a pen and play Newton physics games. So I start playing. I click on start playing. So what it will do is, So yeah, I'm ready. So what I have to do is there will be yeah. So I'm in level five. When I click on this, what will happen is see there will come balls will come out. I have to make like ways so that the ball goes in that way and make it hit the uh, power points over here as you can see. So as I'm playing, I can make like this. I should do like this. So as you saw, I should when I move like this, the uh, it gets circled. So if I'm like this, it gets stuck in that. So I can make a path like this so that it hits the so it hits all the power points when the full number is done it shows good job and I can go to the next level so this is a physics game then the physics game it's called uh, Newton then I can go to masterpiece I can start playing in the in this there's no games you have to draw your imagination and it'll 
save it so i'm ready i can start drawing uh, i choose animal no i'll choose food food this apple so next what i'll do in i'll draw like a rough graph where i can draw so i'll draw an apple and i draw leaf so then what i can do is i can click on uh, okay i i drew bad because i have to do it first sorry so now after uh, taking a picture of my image it'll ask me to uh, name your masterpiece i i don't want to so i come back and it'll show the students who are drawn their the who uses this tab drawn and what i have drawn so recently i drew, drew an apple so it shows my gallery and osmos gallery so after that there's an option called offline learning if you don't have internet you can use this so i'm in level 4 apprentice so i can click on it there will be pre recorded videos i can see the videos and learn and there will be questions preloaded questions and i can understand the concept properly that's all i want to use the smart sense feature i can just go click on i can just go and click on take a picture and i have to point over here whichever topic and if i click on uh, search i'll do a countdown 3 to 1 then i'll take a picture you'll see where my finger is pointing i'll show you a topic related to it uh, a video which is pre recorded and i can see and understand what topic i didn't understand in the textbook i will sense my book and it'll it'll show the topic c when i point the finger at it it'll show the topics related to it like this so as you can see the feature was really good it was futuristic and really advanced now this is the uh, bottom camera which you can see this one and this is the top camera and this is the top camera from the top camera it can see so learn sense also uses the top camera it can see what i'm drawing and it can take a picture so as you saw clarity is good but a skin there's over sharpness but you can't use it for uh, taking pictures so it's fine so i'm taking a picture of myself from the, to uh, the bottom camera so as you can see clarity is not really nice but overall okay so if i want i can sh shoot a video so as you can see it sh uh, shrinks me and if i click on the other camera click on the bottom camera I, it why it zooms the picture video more so i can make a video of me writing i v o l a s tech now i click pause so now i can go view the video so as you see the so the video quality is good and the camera quality is good if you had if you have add a sim card you can uh, call someone you can chat with them but you can't do video calls or uh, uh, do facetime with them the only thing you can do is uh, from whatsapp you can do video call or you can call them that's all nothing else let us talk about the mic quality so i'm clicking on sound recorder and i'll click on start hello my name is vivant can you hear me so let me show you how i heard hello my name is vivant can you hear me so overall the uh, uh, speaker so so the mic quality is pretty decent i liked it but you can't do calls on this because it's not a like personal tablet it's a tablet from byzus so overall the mic quality is good so when you plug it into charge it will show good evening vivan then it will show fun facts like a cracked egg resembles a jellyfish under water which was an example and there are many facts in uh, other subjects so that's really cool and the background is changes 
uh, every time uh, it depends on how they programmed them programmed it so overall it takes one hour to charge zero to forty percentage and it takes around two and a half or three hours to get full charge to the conclusion so overall a really good tablet but there's a catch so if you want to buy this it's not available anywhere it's only available in buyers but to get this you have to uh, join their course first they'll uh, uh, first a uh, guy will test your skills he'll take your test after that he'll check how good you perform after that he'll sp- present your course for me it cost you 70000 for it my cost after that in a scholarship they'll give you this tablet for free so you can't buy it separately that's the problem but if you are if you get the scholarship or if you pay uh, for the scholarship you will get the tablet